Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Tony Hawk's American Wasteland! In the last part, Get well, we'll here. figure that what out in a minute. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah? Well, you're hey, man. Is that right? Then hop off. Okay, so, um... I kind of skipped through the dialogue there, but yeah, basically, you just gotta prove to Al Alpha's posse that you can, uh, hold a lip trick on the car little... Yeah, the car... thing, uh, for... I'm gonna guess around... Roughly 30 seconds, so yeah. Um, or I would say either 15 or 20 seconds, actually, more accurately. But anyway, uh, in the last part, yeah, I actually told, I actually can't remember now, really. Um, I know we did stuff, though. I know, th I know that much. It makes me proud to say that. All right, so yeah, simple enough, I guess. Whatever. You're weak, dude. Of course, he calls us weak for it. I got something that should wreck you royally. Ride this bus, don't worry. And actually, believe it or not, it's funny because it's like, oh, this should wreck you royally. This is actually, I actually did this on the first try. I, I don't think that was a luck, royal no wrecking. Come here, I got something else for you. Ah, man, these nasty birds are more of a pain in the butt than you are. They're taking giant dumps all over the place. I figure since you skate like crap, this is the perfect job for you. Ride that line and scare off all those flying dupe droppers. In fact, actually, uh, this mission was actually- or all the other missions besides that first one, that first part, are actually all easier than that one, so. Um, yeah, I wouldn't expect it to be too much harder. Or to be- I mean, to, to be harder at all. Actually, I was waiting for an invitation to hit that line, but... Dang, fucking genius. And yeah, that's not how you do it. <laughs> and make sure you actually do a no comply right there. That's like, that's almost a guaranteed thing. Man, for someone who sucks, you're not that bad. Alva will probably think you're a complete tool, but I'll give a what up to him for you anyway. See you around. Yeah, so, um... So those mis that mission's not too challenging. It's just kind of you know. It it'll, it will take a few tries though. I would say that much. Um, just to you know, get yourself in tune with what you're doing. I guess I don't know, but <clears throat> like I said, it's not too bad. All right, so we're gonna actually go ahead and head up onto the top of the bridge here, where Alva's actually strangely waiting. Yeah. Word on the street is you've been looking for me. My boys have been telling me you're not bad. You know all the latest tricks. But if you can really ride, you gotta be able to hit some old school moves too. That's how I roll. Let's start out by seeing if you can pogo down that ramp between those cones I set up. And don't knock into any of them, or else you gotta go back to the starting line, Chief. In my opinion, I think actually, uh... Alva's one of the cooler characters in this game. One of the cooler pro skaters. A little less jerkish. Sweet style, kid. You look like me there for a second. Now try it again, but this time, do a handstand. Even though that you just look like me there for a second didn't really help his, you know, persona, but, eh, oh well. Nice. My crew was right about you. You got some moves, and for the last one, let's try something different. See if you can do a bird slide down the entire ramp, but remember, don't hit the cones. Okay, so this one's actually quite a bit, quite challenging, I think. Um, it really does take a few tries to just get it, like, I mean, to know exactly how to do this. And you're not even really bird sliding, not the same way that Iggy taught you, you're kind of just t touching the sides. Of the road, T touching the road, pretty much. Those are some raw moves. Thanks, man. Y you know, I'm actually here to see you about one of your old friends, Iggy Van Zant. Iggy Van Zant? Holy crap! What's that train wreck up to? Well, let me guess, dead or in jail? Good call. He got locked up just the other day. Well, that's got to be a record. That guy's a rock star, man. Check this out. Just the other day, I found this old photo of us together. Man, we used to shred this city apart. Del Mar, Carlsbad, that's us at Green Pipes Point. Green Pipes Point? Never heard of that. That one's still around? 
No, nah, that got leveled years ago. Too bad, though, because there's a lot of history at that place. The gnarliest snake run ever. Word is that thing got filled in, but never destroyed. Hey, I've seen that before. That's Iggy's place. Damn. If that's Iggy's place, then Iggy's place is Green Pipe's Point. I figured it would have been a strip mall by now. That means the snake run's probably still there. Oh, that thing's gotta be dug up. Definitely. I know this trippy dude named Mega who works on an oil rig. You find him, and he can help you do it. I'm on it. Don't worry about Iggy. He and I have been in more jails than skate comps. He'll find a way out. He always does. Trust me. Hey, man. If you want to get to that oil rig and find Mega, we got to figure out a way to get you out to a boat. And you see, boats can't come near the pier because of all the people swimming around here. I mean, I need something big to get way out there. Something big? Like that broken down old Ferris wheel? That's perfect. That thing's ready to fall off anyways. Yeah, but we can't do anything with that old Carney hanging around. We gotta lose that guy. Any thoughts? Not sure. That dude's kind of loony, though. I always hear him mumbling something about the Ferris wheel really being an alien shit how little green space people are gonna come take their ship and him back to planet Zoltar. You know, I saw an alien suit for sale at a clothing shop in Hollywood. I'm gonna head over there to get it and I'll meet you... But... Okay, so I don't really know what happened right there. That was kind of weird. Um, I guess that was probably from, you know, on my old computer when my computer was just saying, Hey, guess what? I'm crapping out. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go out to Hollywood, of course, to get that alien suit. Uh, it'll be a nice change of costume just for a little bit. Um, it's not going to be for very long. Um, I'm going to say probably like a solid mission or two. Or not a solid mission, but a solid episode. Look what the game dragged in. It's not going to be permanent by any means. Uh, basically, yeah, you got to freak out that carny, which is actually kind of funny because um, I actually tried like doing the non spin on the... Um, on that lever that was sitting, that was standing I next to him, or like that, he actually punches the living crap out of you when you like try. It's actually like pretty funny, actually. It's it's right. pretty great. Uh, <laughs> I was like, God damn, dude, must be that fucking paranoid about aliens or some shit. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, it'd be a little change of costume just for like for a little bit, you know. And then I'm gonna actually probably, and then it'll be back to the to the actual, you know clothing scheme that I'm wearing right now and um, once I get started recording with more episodes then um, I'm gonna change it up once again because yeah it's definitely I've been it's been way it's been well it's been pretty well it's been way overdue I think uh, yeah I want to say I want I would say it's way overdue so let's go and talk to Tony Alva man. that Carney's gonna flip but you gotta freak him out big time you should do some outrageous grind trick that no one's ever seen before. Okay, so basically, yeah, you gotta create a trick. Um, nothing too fancy, I would I would say. I'm, I'm sure you can do, like, a bunch of different things and make it look fucking super badass, but I like to keep it pretty simple, I would say. Um, even though that's actually probably the simplest you could get right there, just doing that, but I mean, like... But, you know, you gotta kinda make it look cool, too, because otherwise, you know... It's not like you're gonna fail the mission, it's just that... It's just gonna look dumb when you do it. <clears throat> and you kinda want something that you'll be like, Oh my gosh, I actually created that, and it actually looks kinda cool, you know? So, that's kind of... That's kind of what I was going for when I was doing this. Um, yeah, I like that, you know? I think that's... I thought that was pretty cool, anyway. I think it's a pretty cool trick. Um... And of course, I didn't come up with this uh, such a creative name for it, but whatever. Uh, you know, I'm not really creative with names anyhow, so I mean, you know, it's okay for me. And there you go. There's, there's your demonstration, which is, like I said, it looks pretty cool actually. I think, but you know, and that was just by doing. That was just by doing. You know. Some spinning thing, spinning and grinning, I guess, kind of thing with um, a nose grab. I mean, that's all it really was. 
Alright, so FNA is going to be our trick name, if you can figure that out. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're now, now that we created our trick, we're going to go back to Tony Alva and go scare the shit out of that do dude. do some outrageous grind trick that dude. no one's ever seen before on the coaster, right in front of him. But don't get nailed by the cars, because I don't need a dead alien on my hands. <laughs> it's funny, actually, um, you notice that cut right there. Actually, one of the attempts actually ran right into the alien cars, or right into the uh, cars. It was pretty funny. What the? I knew it! They're here! Aliens everywhere! Run for your lives! We're being attacked! Don't probe me! Don't probe me! Awesome, man. Now that he's gone, there's just one thing to do. Not a spin on that lever there. Then, look out. See, I don't get that. That dude, like, punches you in the face, like, you know, like, as if, like, he does, he's not afraid of anything, and then, like, he's just, and then just aliens just come up, and he's like, oh, I'm a pussy, uh, pussy fuck, you know, or some shit, I don't know, and boom. And then we kill all the people on the right. Yay! And I just love how it just lines up perfectly. Out of control. And hey, check it out. Here comes a boat. You should head over there and get him to take you out to the oil rig. I can grab this big chunk of metal and make sure it gets back to Iggy's. Thanks, man. Oh, that thing's definitely rideable. Hey, I'll check you later. Later, dude. And keep an eye on Mega. That dude's crazier than that carny freak. You know what's interesting is that nobody, no, I mean, you know, Tony Hawk got all, you know, everybody's like, whoa, what happened with the dinosaur head, man? You know, killing that protester or whatever. But then when our, when our Ferris wheel, you know, kind of goes out of, you know, kind of flies out of its sockets, then it's like, oh, um, yeah, that's not cool. Hey dude, you like my boat? I just started working for Mega driving this thing. Problem is that I kind of spent all the gas money I had cruising for the ladies. Hey, if you had some cash, I could buy some more gas and take you to Mega. Nice! You wait here while I get this piece of junk moving. And you can, and you know, of course, there's obviously some skating stuff here. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing, just kind of skating around, just you know, fucking around or whatever. See, big drip. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I don't know, like where the will, you know, kind of, you know, gets gets taken out of commission, so to speak. I guess, you know, then it's like, oh, who cares about that? I mean, dinosaur head got disconnected, man. What the hell? You know, that's now that's ridiculous. You know, that was just another day of the at, at the job. You know, another day at the office. You know, I mean, all these ridiculous things happen. All these ridi ridiculous things happen, and then it's like, oh yeah, whatever. Who cares? Maybe they just got used to it after like the whole dinosaur head thing. Who knows? And now we are on top, and we're gonna act like the captain. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of what I was wanting to do, is just kind of just stand there right there. I mean, like, I mean, like towards the end here, you know. But it took me a little bit to get there. But since the capture module decided to mess with me a little bit here, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode, and I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.